This video is brought to you by Ultium 365. With these new devices, you can send free text messages over a long distance without using any GSM network and internet. You can also use these devices as GPS trackers and using the Mishtastic cell phone application, you can check the longitude and latitude values. I know it sounds quite unbelievable, but it's true. And the coolest thing is these devices are upgradable. You can update the firmware, which of course I will explain in this video. So let's go ahead and start the unboxing. So without any further delay, let's get started. Inside each box, you will find the Lilygo T Echo device, an antenna, and a C type USB cable. First, let's go ahead and connect the antennas. So guys, these are the Lilygo T Echo devices and all the information is printed on the top of the box. It has a GPS module and its TX, RX, Wake, Reset and PPS pins are connected to these pins. It has RGB programmable LEDs connected to these three pins. This is a 1.54 inch SPI e-paper display and it's MISO, MOSI, SC, LK, CS, DC, RST, BZ and BL pins are connected to these pins. Its gray level is 2, resolution is 200 by 200 and the full refresh time is 2 seconds. Lilygo T Echo device is based on the NRF52840 microcontroller unit. It's based on the LoRa SX1262 long range wireless transceiver module and you can see its connection details. This is the LoRa antenna. It has a 2 MB flash. It also has a BME sensor and its SDA and SCL pins are connected to these pins. It also has an RTC, battery, ADC and power enable. There is one touch button on the top connected to P0.11 and two buttons on the left side. I will talk about these buttons in detail as these have multiple functions. Type-C port is available on the right side and it also has NFC antenna on the bottom side. But there are some other things which are not printed on the box. This device has 2 MB RAM. Bus interfaces are UART, SPI, TWOI, PDM, 12S and QSPI. While designing this device, they focused on making it compatible with Mishtastic and Soft RF. So Bluetooth and low power consumption were considered when designing. So that's why NRF52840 Advanced Bluetooth 5 was selected thread and Zigbee multi-protocol SOC. If you want to know more about its technical specifications and different technologies used in developing this amazing device, then you can read my article available on electronicclinic.com. Simply long press button number two to turn on the device. Now, before I'm going to explain anything else, first let's update the firmware using the Type-C USB cable connected to your laptop or computer. After connecting this device to the laptop, simply press this button number one twice and it will open the Teco Boot device storage. Open this drive. Now you will need to download this firmware. The download link I have added in the article. As you can see, I have already extracted this folder. Simply open this folder and you can see we have got lots and lots of files. Just find the TECO UF2 file. Copy this file and then go back to the drive and paste it. After pasting this file, the device storage will disappear and during the firmware upgradation, the display will also start flashing. It was just a few seconds job and as you can see, the device is ready and the same exact steps we can follow for the other device. Both the devices are ready and now I can use these T-Echo devices for sending off-grid text messages and for tracking purposes. But before I do it, first I'm going to explain different modes of buttons. As I said earlier, these two buttons on the left side have multiple functions. If you press this button number one twice, it will open the device storage, which I just demonstrated while updating the firmware. And if you press this button once, it will reset the device. Long press button number two if you want to turn on or turn off this device. When the device is on and you press this button once, then you can scroll through different pages on the display. And 
if you double press this button then you can turn on or turn off the backlight you can differentiate between these t echo devices with the help of these numbers you can see this one is meshtastic at f29 and this one is 72c0 it doesn't matter how many devices you have each one will have a unique number my two devices are ready and now let's go ahead and install the meshtastic cell phone application if you have been using Ultium Designer for creating schematics and designing your PCBs and you don't know about Ultium 365, then let me tell you about it. Ultium 365 lets you store projects in the cloud with all the documents and components you might need to complete all your tasks. To unlock all of the functionality of Ultium 365, you must first connect to your workspace, a separate environment where all your data exists. After logging into your account, you can access all of the features of the Ultium 365 platform. Let me show you how to create a workspace. Click on the Not Signed In drop down button and click on the Sign In. Click on the Register an Account. It's just a two steps process into your email ID or you can also register with Gmail and Facebook. Once you complete the registration, then come back to Ultium Designer, enter your email ID and password check the sign in automatically box and click on the sign in button and your ultium 365 workspace will activate click on manage if you want to change your password your information and you can also write about your experience and projects and finally you can click on the save button i will share more tips and tricks with you in my upcoming videos i have added links to the ultium designer ultium 365 and octopod Simply go to the App Store and search for the Meshtastic cell phone application and install it. As you can see, I have already installed this application. Let's go ahead and open the application. First, I'm going to turn on the Bluetooth. Now, if I click on the plus button, the two devices will appear. Select any of the two devices you want to connect to and then simply enter the pairing code and that's it. As you can see, the device has been connected. Finally, go to the region and select 868 as my devices are 868 MHz. If yours are 433 MHz or support some other frequency, then select that frequency, otherwise it won't work. Now, the other device I can connect to another cell phone and then we can send free text messages and we can track each other. Both the devices are connected and now we can open the chat window and start sending and receiving the text messages over a long distance. We can track the device's location and if you will click on the markers, it will also display the longitude and latitude values. This way you can easily track your friend or teammate if he or she is missed in mountains area or a jungle during the camping or cycling or racing etc. You can use these devices anywhere where there is no cell phone network. So that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.